I'm so happy to have you here. Um, we've been talking very for a very long time on LinkedIn, and I thought, why not do a collaboration since we're so passionate about, you know, RPA and machine learning, artificial intelligence. And I said, let's do something. Let's do something really quick. So we guys, backstory, we spent um, the weekend trying to come up with the um, with the idea. So Devishish, would you just introduce yourself? Um, you know, tell us something interesting about yourself. Why open source uh, RPA? Yeah, thank you so much, Tulani, for such a nice introduction. Um, so open source, uh, what I see open source is like kind of a future. Uh, you can see a lot of integrations. Uh, the good thing about open source is uh, if somebody is building a tool uh, where I, uh, it's let's say any company they can leverage those things integration with the tools becomes pretty easy. And the good thing about the Robocorp, which we are going to demo also pretty soon is kind of natively works on Python and you can see a lot of activities in terms of machine learning, AI, all those things. And it's a, it's a language which is uh, pretty, uh, I think so user friendly and a lot of people can easily pick it up. And I think so uh, even in your channel, I've seen a lot of low code uh, and no code kind of a thing is also where people are trying to democratize AI, RP and all those things. I think so those are the future. And I see uh, giving the power in the hands of the business users would be the key in the future in whether it's AI, ML or RPA. So looking forward to the growth in RPA space in so, terms of open source. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Guys, do you know that Deva she, she's actually wearing the Robocop swag um, t-shirt? Um, it's I got the same, I got the swag t-shirt as well, but I can't find mine. So uh, so sorry about that, guys. But um, yes, so today, what we're going to do today um, is we're going to do a, what we have a use case. Um, this is something myself and Deva Shiva have been talking about for a while. Um, coming up with use cases um, that is more, uh, there's something that you can identify with. Um, so this use case we've come up with is something around insurance that can be used in insurance. It could be used in the government as well. Um, and this is about you know recognizing license plates. So let's say, for instance, you're working at an insurance firm and you want to um, insure a car. Um, if you want to insure a car, you need to know as much details about the car. You're talking about, you know, how, how long the car's been around, you know, all this sort of information. The call, you can ask questions from the customer, but you could also do your due diligence um, before um, even meeting up with the customer as well. So um, Deva Shish and myself, I've come up with this use case and, and this use case kind of shows in a couple of our, our machine learning can be used with RPA and bring them together in terms of, you know, very intuitive automation. So um, before I talk, before I rumble a lot, I'll just let Deva share his screen and we kind of do a bit of recording and you can show us how this works. Uh, Tolani has described, so we are trying to recognize uh, license plates and we have taken a sample of images. You can see uh, around six samples of images. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to identify the license plate numbers from these images and you can see certain images are not pretty good also and let's see the results and these uh, and let's see how many and we we would be using uh, so right now for license plate recognition uh, we are using a rest api call for which we are utilizing the plate recognizer um, as a tool uh, we'll be sending the rest api calls to it and it would be returning us the number and this number we would be using it in terms of uh, another website where we would be looking up the the number plate and will extract certain details like vehicle type, uh, the model and the URL. So uh, I'll probably run you through those also. And this is the code. So in this code, uh, uh, let me just give a brief intro. So in this code, we are trying to uh, read a file, uh, which is there, uh, those image files. Uh, we are doing a post REST API call uh, and in this REST API call we are passing the file uh, the binary of the file as well as header which is for authentication and it will be giving us a JSON output which would have the details like which region the number plate belongs to and the number plate number like the license plate number and then what we're going to do uh, is once we have this thing we're going to there is a website uh, find by plate we're going to go to that website, we're going to search with the number plate and the region. So there is a lookup file which we have created. Uh, so 
just so I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see this. You know, it's a piece of art. Um, so here we have kind of created. So usually uh, I'll show you the JSON response also. So the API would be giving the response, which would have the number plate uh, and the region. Uh, so the region would be something like US and the state. Uh, and in those terms like US, Virginia. So in those terms, we have those ports for each of them. So uh, like US, Arizona. So what we're trying to get through the sheet, we're going to look up and we'll select the state and as this state would be required um, for filling, uh, let's say, find by the plate website, we'll have the two inputs where we have to give the plate number and the state and we'll be able to search. And let's see how many images we are able to search successfully. Uh, so, Tulani, I will be starting with the demo. And in the due course of the demo itself, I will probably showcase uh, the JSON outputs as well as the and will validate. Okay, let me cancel it. I believe this would take time. So you will be able to see the output. So one output it has been has generated. Now it will, I think so, it will run the second one. You can see it's running the second one. You can see it's the third one, it's running. For this one, we believe we didn't find it, uh, but since we have in Included the exception handling. It will skip this and it will go to the next image. I think so. It has started with the next image. And for one of the images, as you can see, for one of the image, it has taken the screenshot. And for one of the image, it's unable to identify uh, the lookup in the website. So you can see uh, for each of the cars, for car one image, car 149. So I'll sh for these ones. So if you can see, there are around six images. For uh, out of the six images, it's able to identify the five images. And but it had an issue in the lookup. For uh, the scars 176 image, uh, let me take you through uh, the image itself. So uh, here you can see the CSV outputs also, and and I think so. Prior to that, I'll show you the JSON response, which would make more sense also. How the API response is coming. So let's say I take one of the image, and you can see uh, this is the keyword get car number we are sending the uh, json uh, we are getting the json response over here so we are evaluating uh, the json string and so let me show you the content so this is how the content looks uh, processing time you can see the coordinates uh, for the number plate 
the number plate number it has identified it's in lower case the region you can see the region code us new york and why so and there are multiple versions okay with we are taking the highest score one but you can see there is a confidence score for each of the so 0.98 point uh, 89.8 percent is the confidence score so this way the json response is there and from this json response we are extracting these two details the plate number the license plate number which is we have converted it into to, uh, into the upper case and the location region and this region is then looked up in that lookup file which i showed and from this lookup we are able to us and by code we are able to look up and figure out okay this is a new york state and then we are going to um so you can see we are going to uh, extract certain attributes from the uh, the website find by the plate.com i can uh, so this is the website and here we can put the number plate and we can select the state and it would uh, it would show the details and let me take you through the csv files also i can open for let's say for this image you can see we are able to extract the body class let me just expand it you can able to we are able to extract the body class uh, vehicle type manufacturer and the url corresponding to it and let me show you the image for which we are able to extract this so you can see from this image you can see it's not pretty clear but still it's able to extract it uh, the details and so i so i hope uh, you would have liked this uh, use case uh, which as tolani mentioned it's the use case which is pretty prevalent uh, for the government organizations uh, tolani over to you so that was brilliant um a lot of people would not understand um uh, the pain uh, it takes you to get so much information about a car so having worked in insurance myself i worked in insurance for nearly 3 years and i know when it got to got when there was time to insure a car the risk you know you want to know as much information about the car before doing the insurance and even for from governmental um purposes as well you can actually check if there's a new report on the car um because the website actually gives you a lot of information as well apart from the information we've shown on here so um this is interesting um i think really i think what i want others is to do is try as much as possible to see how this sort of works together with couple of tools um it's something it, it also shows the very good a good use case of you know using um ocr or computer vision and stuff like that um to actually extract tests um even when it's clear and isn't clear as well so this is so many uh this are so many things that we can do um i hope you guys enjoyed it um we hope to keep on bringing a lot of use cases um where you guys can you know you can you can see how rpi and machine learning or ai can kind of come together in terms of intelligent automation so thank you so much uh devashish i really appreciate your time considering it's all, it's very late um it's 7:41 from your screen i can see 7:41 it's um it's afternoon year in dublin so yeah brilliant um thank you so much um and thank you for making my weekend awesome so yeah thank you hope so to much see you very me. soon yes for, and i i hope to continue such collaborations further in the future thank you thank, thank you, you.